I'm at Lab 7 co-working here in downtown today, but we're talking about Square Root Academy and how they've pivoted during this time. You can see as you take a look around this place, there's lots of little nooks and crannies for people to work from. But with COVID, this space really wasn't getting used how it was designed to be used. So Nick, you stepped in now. You guys are using this space not only for yourselves, but really to create a lot of space for people to do some pretty amazing things for the community. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we've, we've had to pivot just like every other organization right now. And we wanted to really do something to make sure that the kids had a continue um, great educational experience. And with Square Root Academy, mostly focused on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, that's not every kid's thing. So what we went ahead and did is we collaborated heavily with our community partners. So, you know, we have 916 Inc. teaching creative writing. Um, we have uh, Project Optimism teaching leadership, Yoga C teaching yoga, the Sacramento Public Library. The list goes on and on. So we're just excited to offer these free services to our, our community on Scholars Playground. And we're being nosy, taking a peek in there right now. This kind of gives people an idea of how this space is being used because so many things have now gone into a virtual mode mm -hmm. during COVID. So even though people can do this from home, this gives them more of a private space to work from. Exactly. We wanted to make sure that our partners that are teaching on Scholars Playground are everyone is comfortable. Everyone has a place to work, which is why we have our upstairs area. We have our nook around the corner. We have our conference room, which has essentially been converted into a mini room where we can educate and just facilitate these learning sessions. And Scholars Playground goes beyond even that. You were sharing with me, and as I look over here on the table, I can see some of the supplies. You guys have oh, yeah. really taken it a step further, too. Mm -hmm. Well, we wanted to make sure that they also had something physical because the digital stuff, it's, it's great, but we want to get them away from staring at the screen. So we'll teach them yoga and hope they practice outside of that. We'll teach them percussions and how to do drums, and then hopefully they do it without looking at the screen. So we're trying to get things actually in their hands so it can make the education feel more real and they can feel more connected to their peers, you know? And this is all free. So for people that are all watching, free. where can they go to access all of these great programs? They can go to scholarsplayground.org. We have another session that's going to be starting at the end of July. So be on the lookout, go to our newsletter, subscribe, and just keep on following what we're doing at Scholars Playground. Get all right, kidding. they're doing some pretty awesome things. It doesn't cost anything. It's a great way to get the kids involved. It's virtual, but there's so much more than what they're doing on the screen. I'll send it back to you. That mm -hmm. is really cool.